Are you tired of jumping constantly from one fad diet to another with little or no results? I know I would be. My name is Dr. Erica Steele. I'm a holistic doctor in family practice. I hold six degrees in my field, all in the natural healthcare space. And I am here to tell you it's time to say goodbye to those quick fix solutions and hello to a healthier, more abundant, holistic lifestyle that's going to help you to achieve your weight loss goals. Holistic weight loss is a natural and effective approach that consists the entire person, not just the physical, but also the environmental, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, and even the ancestral. Sometimes people hold on to to trauma from their family lineage and letting go of that means they're releasing those unhealthy patterns. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what holistic weight loss actually is and how you can use these principles to help achieve your weight loss goals. Macronutrients are the three main types of nutrients that provide energy to our bodies. That's carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. We're going to talk about each one of those. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of energy. They can be found in foods like grains, fruits, and vegetables. To maintain a healthy diet, it's important to focus on consuming complex carbohydrates, such as your fruits and your vegetables, rather than simple carbohydrates, which are your sugars, your breads, your pastas, your rices. Proteins are important for building and repairing tissues within our body. They can be found in foods such as meat, poultry, fish, dairy, and even legumes. You want to include sources of protein with each meal and snack. There are some vegetarian options such as lentils or black beans that have lower fat. You want to focus on consuming lean protein sources if you choose to eat meat such as skinless chicken or fish to reduce your intake of unhealthy fats. I'm not a proponent of a vegetarian diet, but you can utilize a vegetarian diet. I was raised vegetarian, so I'm well aware of all of some of the health benefits, but I find that from a protein perspective, it's very limited. You really have to watch your protein if you choose to be a vegetarian. Fats are an important part of our healthy diet, but it's important to be mindful of the types of fats and how much fat we're consuming. Even healthy fats can build up, and if you don't have the activity level to, let's say, outrun or outwork out the amount of fats you're consuming, you're going to store it as visceral fat, which is fat around your organs. Good sources of healthy fat include nuts, seeds, avocado, and olive oil. But again, make sure you watch those numbers. You don't, if you want to lose weight, you don't want any more than 20% of your metabolic um, amount, which is your uh, calories. Um, avoid consuming unhealthy fats completely. Those are your trans and saturated fats like fried food, processed foods, those all have those in there. Balancing your macronutrient intake is important for maintaining a healthy diet and also creating a holistic lifestyle. We tend to look at mindset first, our emotional connection second, and then we start looking at diet and nutrition. Because if we don't have the mindset to be able to sustain, we're going to go to our default diet, which uh, a lot of times isn't healthy, it's fast, it's unconscious, it's not fully present. You want to balance your diet with a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats. So so in general, a um, person can consume 45 to 65% of their calories from carbohydrates, 20 to 35% from protein, and then 20 to 35% from healthy fats. That ratio is, is determined by multiple factors. We look at um, the patient's body composition. We look at their visceral fat. We look at their biochemistry. There's a lot of different what they're digesting and assimilating, and that is what allows us to be able to create more of an individualized plan. Individual macro nutrient needs um, may vary based on your age, your gender, physical activity level. So for example, an athlete may require a higher intake of carbohydrates or they can do a higher grade of fat because they're going to be burning it off, while older adults really need to focus on higher protein intake to support muscle health. Macronutrients play a crucial role in maintaining a holistic health and uh, lifestyle and weight loss plan. So keeping a habit out of the fad diets and keeping into really being mindful and present to what you're eating by consuming balanced intake of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats is definitely a huge step in the right direction if you want to reach your goals.